What up? Zach here. This is 90 Second Church. If you're not subscribed on YouTube or following us on Facebook, um, why not? Anyway, since the last 90 Second Church, Jesus was arrested and now he stands before the Sanhedrin, which is made up of the most influential religious leaders of the day. It's like Congress, though their authority is limited just to the religious, not the civil. Anyway, the actual proceedings here are not that important. Mark describes this as a corrupt affair designed to accomplish the goals of the religious leaders, not to actually determine Jesus' guilt or lack thereof. It's a kangaroo court, if you will. Uh, Jesus spends the first part of the interrogation in complete silence. Do you remember the story of the suffering servant last week? But we get to Mark 14, verses 61 and 62, and we hear something else. Then the high priest asked him, are you the Messiah, the son of the blessed one? Jesus said, I am. Now, so much of Jesus' ministry could be described as a whisper. After healings, Jesus would tell the healed to stay quiet, and he commanded the demons to be silent. Yet, when he finally speaks in this trial, it's not a whisper, it's an explosion. I am. To remind you, I am is the name of God. To say I am is not just an acknowledgement of their accusations, but a restatement and clarification of those accusations. And if it's not clear enough, Jesus continues, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated in the place of power at God's right hand and coming on the clouds of heaven. In case there was any doubt then, or any doubt now, Jesus is fully unambiguously and unapologetically declaring his divine authority, a claim that cannot be ignored, and one that the Sanhedrin doesn't ignore. But we'll talk more about that next week. Until then. <laughs>